Deep in the ocean, an orca pod is on the hunt. But these aren't your average orcas. These guys are organized. Marketing team, did you get those social media posts scheduled for the seal migration? Aye, aye, Captain. We even have an automated notification for all pod managers when they go live. They use Monday.com to keep their teamwork sharp, their communication clear, and their goals in sight. Monday.com. For whatever you run, even orcas, go to Monday.com to dive deeper. This episode is sponsored by Skechers, the comfort technology company. I have a seven-year-old son, and the biggest mountain I climb every day is trying to put shoes on this child. And I'm so grateful to Skechers for supporting this podcast, but also for making the only shoes my son will willingly put on by himself. Their slip-ons are amazing. Thank you, Skechers, for everything. And you can find Skechers everywhere. Skechers.com, a Skechers store, or wherever stylish footwear is sold. If someone tells me not to do something, or I'm not welcome somewhere, or I can't be somewhere or do something, yeah, there is like a fucking petty ass person inside me that is yeah. like, well, not only am I now more motivated to do it, but I'm yeah. going to do it louder, better, yeah. stronger than anybody Dude, ever has. I love that. And you've done it so well. <laughs> yeah. If I'm not invited to their party, I'm throwing a bigger yeah, party you're gonna, like, across the street. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to like kick the door down and be yeah. like, I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> Sun goes down another dreamless night. I have envied people, artists who had stage names because I feel like there's been times in my career when I like wanted to try new things, but I felt like the liability of failure so hard, you know, be like, oh, it'd be so cool to make work like that, but I can't do that, and, you know, but, but I would feel like stuck in the rut of who I am now. I'd be like, you know, I fantasized about creating an alter ego or like another persona. I'd be like, oh, I could make this body of work. If I wasn't me, I could make something like that. Right by my side, you wake me up, you say it's time to ride. Is it right in here? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. Hey! Hi, how's it going? How's it going? How are you doing? I'm good. So good to see you. Thank Thanks you. Too. Thanks for tracking it all the way down here. They oh ambush you outside. Yes. Sorry about that. Sorry <laughs> it's okay. About that. No, it's all good. I was like, he can come in and like kind of stop down or whatever. No, it's all good. Um, so no frills today? No. It's This is the new iteration. I love that. Does it feel vulnerable and exposed? Yeah, I feel crazy. I feel like I'm like I can take off my pants just to like even the playing field. I mean, or exactly. <laughs> um, I mean, I've been kind of br- I've been braiding it more I've seen and that, more. Like the Willie Nelson braid. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I like things to kind of evolve. Yeah. Is it freeing in a way to like wear a mask and just be like, because now I'm like a little bit freer to fuck up because it doesn't affect who yeah, I am when I wake up in the, the morning. That was the effect in the beginning. Yeah. I invented the mask as, a, as an artistic choice. And I think I didn't realize how much of a, like, yes, it was stylistic, but I think it was also like um, subconsciously to help me right. feel a bit like I could be more vulnerable in a way. Like, do you feel <laughs> dropping the frills is like a, like a threshold of confidence that you've achieved now where you're yeah. like, oh, like now I can kind of... It's like a threshold of I confidence. I can step into myself a bit more. But also like, um, like a new barrier of challenge because I think, I think that's why I like evolving. And I think, the, well, I think the way in which I like to evolve is to keep challenging myself with something new. Like not only do I get bored with like other people's art easily, <laughs> but yeah. I get bored with my own easily yeah. too, you know? Like I like... And I like challenging myself. So yeah, the challenge I think with this project from the beginning is to just like um, be more and more vulnerable as a songwriter, as an artist. And I think every album I've done and every iteration of The Mask and all that stuff, I think it all 
like is moving towards like more and more revealing in a in like a literal sense and also a sort of a metaphorical sense i guess it makes me nervous i know it sounds like a silly thing that showing half my face makes me nervous <laughs> but it does yeah but i think that's a good thing you yeah. know like i don't like to just keep it too comfortable it's a great face like it's a, <laughs> as far as faces so go. far, so as, far, as what you great. can see from, from what now, I know yeah. about your face, it's one of the greats. One of the greats. Thanks. I mean, this episode is sponsored by Skechers, the comfort technology company. I have a seven-year-old son, and the biggest mountain I climb every day is trying to put shoes on this child, and I'm so grateful to Skechers for supporting this podcast but also for making the only shoes my son will willingly put on by himself. Their slip-ons are amazing, and uh, he doesn't have to deal with laces, he doesn't have to deal with anything. They come in the perfect color blue, and I mean, his closet looks like Batman's closet. It's just a row of 10 pairs of blue Skechers slip-ons, because those shoes are the only reason I have ever made it to school on time. Anyway, thank you Skechers for everything. And you can find Skechers everywhere. Skechers.com, a Skechers store, or wherever stylish footwear is sold. This episode is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. You chose to hit play on this podcast today. Smart choice. Make another smart choice with AutoQuote Explorer to compare rates from multiple car insurance companies all at once. Try it at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Not available in all states or situations. Prices vary based on how you buy. Yeah, I don't. I don't drink anymore. But I used to roll out of bed hungover. It didn't matter whatever yeah. the situation was. I I could just put on the mask and like it would. No one would know if I was like sick, tired, like yeah. you know whatever. And now I'm like, oh fuck, I'm like. <laughs> you have to do hair and makeup. Yeah. You're gonna do all this. I stuff. know. Yeah. Like thinking about all this stuff that I've never had to worry about. So yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> but do you feel like it insulated you? you know, from the, from the, the country critics, like the, yeah, I mean it, well, I think it, it didn't endear me to them. Right. <laughs> yeah, not well, because, I just feel like it's like, it's like, Oh, this is theater. You know yeah, what I mean? They, more like, like this theater is someone then. mocking country. This is, that's what I used to get a lot. This is somebody I think making culture, fun of it. This is some, and it's funny because, you know, anybody who knows me knows that like I am a country music history also, the fanatic. proof is in the pudding. Like your songs are like, Felt, you know what I mean? Yeah, like the it's, emotional it's all, connection it's all, is like. I don't think I've. I think I've written yeah. two songs in my entire career that are not autobiographical songs. Yeah. Like you know, every song is a, about my life and yeah. you know me trying to attempt to be vulnerable, which is something that never came naturally to me. And so I think, especially particularly as a performer, every single time something new has happened in country, and whether that be the introduction of an electric guitar, yeah. women singing about what they shouldn't be singing about, yeah. uh, the outlaws like Willie Nelson smoking weed, like whatever yeah. it might be, there's been this like pushback from the country world saying right. like from this the isn't the council. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Being like this isn't country music, and that's like oh, their favorite thing to say. Yeah, and then 25 years later go by, and it's like no one's gonna argue that fucking Willie Nelson's not country music, or yeah. Shania Twain like, isn't Willie country. Like Willie Nelson can smoke whatever the fuck yeah, he wants. Like, yeah, like you know, it's like, and so there's like this kind of right rite of passage to like be if you want to be. A, like kind of something new and and singular in country, uh, which I think is something that everyone should strive to be in any genre or any yeah. any career. Really, is to try and be unique and you're because you're trying to be yourself, right? Yeah. Um, so if you show up with a unique point of view, especially in country, it's definitely not welcomed at first, and then it's like begrudgingly welcomed, and then it's sort of like you can you can sit at the table, and then like ten years will go by, and then suddenly people are like you're like in the canon and yeah. now someone else is the not country and right, they're like, yeah. well, you know, they're not Orville Peck. I mean, that's real country. And you're like, wait the fuck, like 10 minutes ago, I wasn't country. Are you like, considered real country now? I mean, it's, I think it's coming around for sure. More I love more. that. No, yeah. for sure. You've earned it. You know, like you've Thank paid you. your dues. I was obsessed with like cowboys as a kid. Um, I loved Westerns. Like I loved, uh, there's a show Cheyenne. Yeah. I loved Cheyenne and I loved uh, the Lone Ranger, obviously. And so, I just was kind of taken with like the pastiche of cowboy culture. I was enamored with country as, yeah. as a genre. But I love the, you know, the determination and just being like, like, I like this and I'm gay and 
the world's just gonna have to reconcile that. You know, like yeah. I'm gonna this is this is what I'm into, and like you guys fucking well, put you know, me wherever you want to put me. I'm very lucky. Um, that's from my parents. You know, like um, my parents adamantly told me and my brothers pretty much every day of our lives. Like you know, and I think it's because. You know, especially my mom's family, like my grandfather, I think probably dealt with a lot of... Being a mixed race yeah, relationship. Yeah, like people telling yeah. him like, you know, what he could do and couldn't do. And you know, South Africa, of course, the politics at that time were insane. And like, yeah. um, I think that kind of drive in my family that my parents had, they would tell us every day pretty much, like you, you can do anything you want to do. Like, I know it sounds such a cliche, but... but it's different to like say that and like really support your kids, yeah. you know, because like so many people like say you could be like, you could be president if you want to. You're like, but don't be gay. Yeah, exactly. You and know? you know, with my father, you know, he made a real conscious and concerted effort because I have two older brothers who are both straight. Yeah. Um, he made a really conscious and concerted effort to tell them, me, everyone like, you know, like, Orville is no different than anyone else, and he will yeah. never be. We will never treat him differently than anybody. Like, you know, and how old? How were you when you came out to your parents? I never really had to because okay, of just that. Like, yeah, they sort of knew, and they just, just kind of room. Yeah, yeah, I like to say they sort of just like kept the door open. You know, like they, when they would like drop they're... hints about like <laughs> it's okay to say if you have a boyfriend or whatever, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, which was really nice because it also allowed me just to. There figure was out, no figure out who I was. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it didn't feel yeah. like, you know, my brothers didn't have to come out as straight to my parents. It's yeah. like a whole fucking burden that you have to deal with that I'm really lucky and glad I didn't have to deal with, you know? Yeah. Well, let's, um, speaking of your parents. Yeah. Like, let's um, let's do something for your pops. Yeah. We'll just start with like, like, like old country album covers and like see if there's a font there that makes sense. Oh, cool. Um, so like literally just as a place to start, like, like even just pulling. Oh, I love that. Like this lettering, yeah. you know, like if we did, you know, outline with a little bit of a shadow underneath. Like even that straight font. Yep. Like it could have come from anywhere, but I like being like, no, no, but it's, yeah, from, it's that, from that, that exactly. Wailing Jennings album. That's amazing. I love um, that. Even this Trev is kind of like playful and fun. Yeah. Um, I love that. I kind of liked one of these. Yeah, I like that too. Because I think it's long and narrow. You know, like yep. it fits the shape. Mm -hmm. It feels like from that world, but it's not so on the nose. I like nose. this one with the shadow. With the little shadow? Yeah. Awesome. I'll print up some different sizes. Okay, we'll cool. put it on there. See Amazing. It I'm so excited to get a tattoo today. I think there's just like a juju in using that as a starting place. You know, like it's it just... It, it just subliminally has a different feeling and meaning to someone if like you know those letters came you know, from something else. It's just, you know, it's like the the grain of sand in the middle of the pearl. Like, that's where you start and then take it wherever it goes. Want to shop Walmart Black Friday deals first? Walmart Plus members get early access to our hottest deals. Join now and get 50% off a one-year annual membership. Shop Black Friday deals first with Walmart Plus. See terms at walmartplus.com. Looking for a pickup truck to get just about anything done? Look no further. The Chevy Silverado EV isn't just the most powerful Silverado ever, with next-level towing capability and technology. It also offers game-changing versatility with the available Multiflex mid-gate and tailgate, which means Silverado EV helps you carry large, bulky, and oddly shaped items up to nearly 11 feet in length. Chevrolet. Together, let's drive. Visit Chevrolet.com to learn more. When's the last time? You had your finger shaved by a grown man. <laughs> well, probably not that long ago. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm at Good like night. a spa, yeah, Good like night. a massage yeah. or something. <laughs> My boyfriend doesn't have a single tattoo, and I love. I kind of love it. Oh, I, I mean, I. It's kind of like a unicorn these days, you know. I love it. Yeah, I mean, I. I mean, I was married to one for a long time, but no tattoos, and it was great. Yeah. Like, okay, well, you don't like me for that. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. I remember when I changed my mask the first time and revealed a bit more like my ears, like people, you know, it was like, it was like I fucking did something so vulgar. Like people really? reacted so, not wow. poorly, but just like seeing my ears was like this insane thing for people. <laughs> Being an artist is really funny. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, complicated feelings yeah. <laughs> about everything. <laughs> Which I imagine, like, yeah, I mean, it, that's what I mean. Like, I think about you and the mask a lot and how just having that layer 
like must be so nice and like but complicating in ways. Yeah, it has been nice and it has been it makes it like in some ways it's made my life easier and in some ways it's made my life like a thousand times harder. Yeah, do you think more people will recognize you now that the now that the chin's out? Yeah. I mean it already happens because of my tattoos. Right, right. Um like more and more now. Most of the insane trauma and insecurities that we all have as adults that we spend so much money and time yeah. <laughs> trying to like undo, I think is other people's expectation of who or what we're supposed to be or how we're supposed to behave or what we're supposed to do or whatever, you know? Yeah. Like it's stuff that people put on you, especially when you're like young, you know, about the expectation of who you're supposed to be, what you're supposed to do, who you're supposed to love. Um, so I think as a parent, minimizing that, because that's going to happen out in the world regardless. Yeah. But I think the mo uh, anytime you can minimize that pressure and that expectation is like such a, it's such a gift to a child because it allows them to feel like, oh, I'm free to be, yeah. I'm free to choose, like, make that choice. Like try all the identities, yeah, try it like, all on, see what There's fits. no like, expectation of who I'm yeah. supposed to be except myself. And, and like, you don't have to be the same person next week that you are this exactly. week. Exactly, totally none fine. of us are, you know? Yeah. yeah. Man, have you, have you like toured since quitting drinking? No. That's but, gonna be a whole different, yeah, that's gonna be it's, awesome. Well, I've done some shows um, under my rodeo. I think, you know, I've been touring for 18 years and I think it was the first show I've probably ever played without having a drink. Right. Uh, which is like, it's just a totally, I, I, I completely didn't, I just underestimated like how different it would feel walking out there, you know? It's like exposed vulnerability like the, yeah. that I kind of love actually. And, it, and I, I feel like I had the best show of my life when I did it, so. That's amazing. Yeah. Or maybe you like just felt it more acutely than before. Yeah, well I mean you're like so present, you know? Yeah. You've done such a good job of like participating in fashion, but in a way that's like true to country. You, like you've really done an amazing job of Thank taking you. like, you know, redneck country culture and being like, no, no, this is this is the soul of it. This is the heart of it. And now yeah. we're gonna like put it in this context. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I mean, I and the thing is, is like I, you know, I'm from a poor white trash background, right. <laughs> you know, like... Which poor white trash is universal. Right. right? Like, it doesn't like, matter geography. You know, my yeah. grandfather was like a horseback policeman, you know, like a yeah. cowboy. And um, yeah, like I said, my mom's family was, you know, like a mixed family from a poor, very, very poor background. And like, yeah. so, I mean, I, I definitely related to, um, I think the tone of country music like spoke to me early because I think... It is sort of like the every every man's music, you know. Like yeah. it's not really like an elitist genre. Well, I mean, it's kind of turned into that in a weird way in Nashville, but that's a whole other yeah. story. <laughs> but like, just from like a class standpoint, it sort of typically has been, you know, geared towards I would say the lower and middle class. This really boldly theatrical and bigger than life genre in people's outfits in the in the boldness of the storytelling, but. All of that was like up here, and then underneath of it was this beautiful, pure, authentic layer of truth and vulnerability. And I just thought, like, you know, I've I'm like, fuck, what a cool crossroads! Like something yeah. that's like really bold and theatrical and like out there, and at the same time, equally simple and truthful and understated. You know, like it's yeah. amazing that those two things can exist at once. Like, I think that's kind of amazing. And that's sort of what I, I guess, set out to do with what I do is to have it feel big and larger than life and theatrical, but at the exact same time, personal and vulnerable. You have such a sincerity about you that, you know, it's that thing where you're like, whatever this guy does, like, I want him to win. You know oh, what I mean? Like, you. like, I want him to like, to like, pull it off, whatever thank he's you. trying to do. Yeah, I appreciate that. You know, we have a beautiful, uh, a beautiful term in South Africa, which is called Ubuntu. I think the direct translation is like togetherness of humanity or something. But I mean, essentially the, the, the crux of the term is that like, you know, I am because of you and you and you, like any success I have is a direct success of all the people in my life and around me because those people shape who I am. Yeah. And so that kind of support of like wanting somebody to succeed and wanting someone to win, that's like such beautiful Ubuntu because it's like, that is part of the reason why I can succeed and win is because you have that support. You yeah. Know what I mean? All right, there we go. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with that. That looks so good. That's pretty fun. 
Oh, I love that. The white looks so good. The little yeah, it'd touch be good of white. just to hold that, like, yeah. hold that space a little bit. It makes better. it like it makes it looks like. Yeah, I love that, dude. That's so good. Awesome. Anything good should just be a weird creative experiment. You know, I think it's when when artists get their ego interwoven with their work, it's dangerous to feel too proud of what you create. You know, and and think that like I'm brilliant because I made this. And then also I think it's dangerous to kind of, you know, feel like you're worth less because what you made didn't succeed. So I think any distance you create between your your ego and your work is, is really healthy. Hey, I'm Ryan Reynolds. At Mint Mobile, we like to do the opposite of what Big Wireless does. They charge you a lot, we charge you a little. So naturally, when they announced they'd be raising their prices due to inflation, we decided to deflate our prices due to not hating you. That's right, we're cutting the price of Mint Unlimited from $30 a month to just $15 a month. Give it a try at mintmobile.com slash switch. $45 upfront payment equivalent to $15 per month. New customers on first three-month plan only. Taxes and fees extra. Speed slower above 40 gigabytes in details. This episode is sponsored by Skechers, the comfort technology company. Thank you, Skechers, for everything. And you can find Skechers everywhere. Skechers.com, a Skechers store, or wherever stylish footwear is sold.